Daytime baseball here on MLB Wait. Network. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the L.A. Dodgers and the San Francisco Giants. So striding forward now, Justin Turner. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The one-two. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Next to the plate will be Corey Seager. He too had three knocks in yesterday's win. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Duggar's there for it. And that's the third out. So digging in now, Wilmer Flores. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now a ground ball to Seeger at short. Right to him. And that's out number one. And that'll bring up Steven Duggar. In past meetings with Julio Urias, he's gone two for six. The 2-1. That's lifted the other way out to left. Betts is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Here's the right fielder, Hunter right Pence. Field. And he's definitely Hunter. off to a fast start in the early part of the season. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. That's a well-placed fastball right there. Just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw to first ends the inning. So here's Cody Bellinger. The early season numbers look very good as he is up over 400 here to begin the campaign. Yeah, he's right in the prime of his career right now. These are the years you really expect to see the best of what this guy has to offer. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. To two balls and two strikes now. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. At the plate, Max Muncy. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. The second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting Jock Peterson. Here it comes on one and one. Popped up. Belt waits on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Next up for Los Angeles, Will Smith. He'll be trying to duplicate his performance from yesterday when he finished with a four for five line at the plate. Here now the 2 2. Is laid off and the count runs full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. The second base. Next for the Dodgers, Zach McKinstry. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. 
Here's the 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. To two and two now. Muncie over at second. Smith on at first with two down. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Back goes Yastrzemski. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. the Giants number four batter Mike Yastrzemski he's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest got him so in now for San Francisco Evan Longoria he's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest to short he's got it First, and a sigh of relief as Longoria's retired easily for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And stepping in, the slick fielding shortstop, Brandon Crawford. The 1 1. Bottom of the second here with no score. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. So here now is the pitcher, Julio Arias. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the pitch. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. And sometimes. The hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Another 2-2 offering. And another foul ball. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you gotta find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Hit to third. Oh, and Longoria can't handle it. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Runner at first following the error. And set to go is the third baseman, Justin Turner. One one. A runner at first with no outs here. Speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hit on the ground out to short. Crawford's got it to second for one. The belt for the twin killing. Stepping in, Corey Seeger. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Third inning, no score to this point. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. He'll try again, one, two. This is line to left. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Now back, left field. Luke. Luke. So now to the plate, Mookie Betts. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one two. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that feel because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. The uh, 2 2. Hit sharply on the ground. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. 
the relay, the tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Into the box, Buster Posey. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Here's the first baseman Brandon Belt. One and one here it comes. And he pumps the fastball by him here one and two now. Hey that's the modern game right now north south elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt completely different from the east west we came up playing. Smoked on the ground, left side. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up Hudges' boy, Derek Rodriguez. Fly ball right down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The one-two. Two and two now with two away, and the base is empty. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. And he struck him out, so he was forced to make nine pitches that at-bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Two balls and a strike to count. And it's two balls and two strikes now. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Fouled off. Just hung in there on that one. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. One gone now in the Dodger fourth. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitter Max Muncy. into the corner and slicing foul. The one two. Line toward the gap in left center. That's his first base hit making one for two now. Now back the center field. In now Jock Peterson fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Pulled the string on him. Strike three swinging. Now at the plate, Will Smith. The catcher, Will Smith. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone.
Digging in, Wilmer Flores. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Full count now, three and two. Hit on the ground to third. And that's the first out. Standing in, Steven Duggar. He's pulled for one thus far. The Giants are still searching for their first hit of the ball game. And that misses two and one. Trying to bunt his way aboard, but this will get fouled. The 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Into the box now, Hunter Pence looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Two balls and two strikes now. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And that's the first hit in this one for the Giants. The left number five. Standing in now, Mike Yastrzemski. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Ready now, Zach McKinstry comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 2. That's lifted the other way out to left. Yastrzemski's got it, and there's one gone. Now so back. here's the Dodgers the pitch. pitcher, Julio Arias. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Now here's the pitch. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And Longoria's got it for out number two. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Justin Turner. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch hit hard towards center and that's in for a base hit make it a one for three games so far so that'll extend the inning and with two away bring up Corey Seager stepping in now Corey Seager a swing and this one is blasted to right field nothing's gonna stop it up into the arcade and out of here Into the box now, Mookie Betts. Two and one now to Mookie. Two runs, six hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Two and two the count. High in the air out to center field. Duggar giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Next to bat for the Giants, Evan Longoria. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 
Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Striding in, Brandon Crawford. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The 2-1 home is looked at for ball three. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3-1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. And that'll bring up Buster Posey. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Lifted in the air out to right. Bellinger's under it. Two down. So stepping in, Brandon Belt. A 1 1. It was looked at for ball number two. No runs, just one hit and one error in the ballgame for San Francisco. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. fouled away. From the stretch. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Three two two out runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Another payoff pitch. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Donovan Solano will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Two down, runners at first and second. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Weak rounder back to the mound. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Tyler Rogers takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He's working on a one for two game so far. 1 1. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Lifted down the line in left. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Back up the middle. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Next up is Max Muncy. A hit in two tries so far. Here's the one and one pitch. Rogers, originally from the Centennial State of Colorado. He was taken in the 10th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category. Uh, one sack as that ball is into the gap in right center. Should be good for at least two bases. At the plate, Jock Peterson. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Set and the two and one pitch. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And a relay to the plate. And he is safe at the plate, and the lead is now three to nothing. Now that second base back into the box, McKinstry. Zach McKinstry. Line drive to left, and that's in there. Base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Now that the pitcher, Julio 
At the plate now, Julio Arias. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. So two gone now for the Dodgers in the sixth, and that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometime pitching in the dirt and block behind the plate. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. From the stretch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Taken in by Flores. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now. Ready for another shot now. Wilmer Flores. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. Oh, he brought it back. Striding into the box, Steven Duggar. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. One out, nobody on. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. On deck, there are the unique stylings of Hunter Pence. He'll be next. And that's low ball four. Now in the box, Hunter Pence. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Long throw to third. And they're not going to get him at third. So runners at second and third now with only one gone. Ross Stripling is going to have his work cut out for him here. Two runners in scoring position, so he'll try to leave them right where they are. So now to the plate, Mike Yastrzemski. Oh, shaking his head on that knuckle curve. One and two. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Evan Longoria, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. 3-2 pitch. Line, that's a base hit. And they'll get back a run here as they're on the board. It's four to one. The battle, the third baseman, Evan Longoria. To the plate now, Evan Longoria. This is lifted out to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he is safe at the plate as he's across to make this a four two game now. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting shortstop and San Francisco Bay Area native Brandon Crawford. The 3-1. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Big spot here. In second, two men gone. And that brings up Buster Posey. Here's the 1 1. Up in the zone for him, and he takes a cold strike two. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Tony Watson will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Aramis Garcia will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. 
number 15. Here's the one and one pitch. Hit on the ground to short. Crawford fields it cleanly. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. One gone now in the L.A. seventh, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter Cody Bellinger. He was a ground out victim last time up. 1 1. Now oh my this ball is crushed. Look at it go. And splash down it's into McCovey Cove. Into the box now, Max Muncy. The bouncer to the left side and gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. So two out here, and that extends the inning for Jock Peterson. Now that the center fielder, Jock Peterson. At the plate, Jock Peterson. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. And a sinker there, swung on and missed for out number three. For the traditional Last half of the seventh here, standing in, Brandon Belt. It was a walk in his last trip. The 3-1. He yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit hard down the right field line. But that's a foul ball. The next 3 2. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Stepping into the box, Aramis Garcia. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Blake Trinan is into the ballgame now. He's going to make his fifth appearance of the season here. Wilmer Flores will be his first test out of the bullpen and it will be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Two one here it is. And he misses ball four so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. So a big spot here. Bases loaded. Nobody out. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Steven Duggar. Lifted the other way down the left field line. On the move is Betts. And they can't run it down. Softly hit the short. Oh, look at the sliding stop. There's one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Hunter Pence is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air out to center field. Peterson has a read on it. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Mike Yastrzemski will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. The 3-1. Is in there for a full count now, three and two. Oh, and 
this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field and you can pretty much forget about this one that is a long home run this is one of those situations you dream about when you're a kid he steps up in a big spot and blasts his first home run of the year to take the lead storybook stuff has come to life In now, Evan Longoria. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Fouled off. The one two. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Sean Anderson will come on to pitch here and he'll move into the number five spot in the lineup now on the double switch. Mauricio Dubon will also enter as a part of the double switch as he'll hit in the seven hole in the lineup. The three and one pitch. Mauricio swing and a miss and that'll fill the count at three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one so so now we've got a battle on our hands. Oh and he can't come up with it. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Chris Taylor will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Nobody out runner on first. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. To two and two now. This pitcher bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. In the dirt, but it's swung on for the third strike. Matt Beatty will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Matt Beatty. Line drive to left. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Now that the third base. At the plate now, Justin Turner. Line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly now, so that tying run will be forced to hold on at third here, still with only one away. John Del Gustave was called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Stepping in now, Corey Seager. Out of play off to the right. Hit back toward the mound. And he has delivered one of the biggest at bats of the afternoon as he catches in with a base hit. He's in there at the plate. And they've taken the lead here in the eighth. The back. The left field. To the plate now, Mookie Betts. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. The right fielder, Cody Bellinger. Now the one and one pitch. Bases are loaded with only one out. That misses and we're even at two and two. This is where you got to empty the bucket out on the mound. Throw your best stuff right here, right now, and try and get out of this. If anything catches outfield grass, this game's probably over. The second for one. Relay to belt. They get two, and that'll end the inning.
Pedro Baez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 52. Pedro. Brandon Crawford digging in next. A couple of walks for him thus far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And there's a base hit. So there you go. The possible tying run aboard here to kick off the home half of the eighth. Into the box now, Mauricio Dubon. Hit down the line at first, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. From the stretch. There's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now. Three and two. Baez was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. The next three, two. Oh, on the ground to first. Can this be two? Oh, and he has some trouble with it. To second for one. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Digging in to try it again. Brandon Belt over one with a run scored thus far. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Drilled to the right side. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Now battle. Number 15. At the plate, Aramis Garcia. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. This is on the ground over to first. One there. To the pitcher covering it first, and it's your textbook 3 6 1 double play that'll get him out of the inning. Danny Jimenez enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncie. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ballgame. And it's one and two. Jimenez, a native of the Dominican Republic. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Late making contact on that swing and will do it again on one and two. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Into the box, Jock Peterson. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Here's the one and one pitch. No contact there, and it's one and two. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper, and be willing to work deep into the count. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Jock Peterson takes the hat trick with his third strikeout of the night. The 2-2. Two -two. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Chris Taylor would be next. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Reyes Maranta takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Chris Taylor will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hit in the air out to left field. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Kenley Jansen comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Now batting in the seventh. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. Stepping forward, Wilmer Flores. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. 
And as Giants fans here on television quite frequently, that ball is out of here. What a swing right there. Picking up the boys, bottom nine, down one, and you come through in a huge way to tie the game and give yourself a chance to win this one. So now to the plate, Steven Duggar. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Here now the 2-2. is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Now batting, Hunter right Pence. Eight. Hunter. Line towards center field. Peterson is there now, and he has it to God. Ready to take his hacks again, Mike Yastrzemski, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And he certainly got a chance to end this one right here with another home run. Going to be interested to see the style, how he plays this one. Does he come out of his shoes, or does he get back to staying within himself? Two out, nobody on. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. And that's in there for a base hit. His third hit of the game. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Alex Dickerson will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. in the air out to center field. Peterson on the run. He's got it as the winning run is stranded to end the inning. Sam Coonrod takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Number 55. We are into extra innings. Stepping in, Austin Barnes. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Okay. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order. Digging in, Justin Turner. Go ahead run at first. Nobody out. Didn't threaten the zone there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. And he misses with it. Ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves into scoring position now. Into the box now. Corey Seager. He went deep back in the fifth. Now the 2-1. And he can't get the bunt down here. So it goes to 2-2. Two and two. You have to find a way to get this bunk down right here. Advance the runners, get them into scoring position, second and third. Anything you have to do to execute this bunt needs to be done right here. Ready with another two-strike offering. A swing and a liner to left center field, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. It's an 8-7 to seven game. Now back. Left field. Standing in now, Mookie Betts sent on the ground out to second to Crawford for one to belt for the twin killing. So a big spot here in stepping in Cody Bellinger, although there are a couple of bases open and we'll see if they think about working around him. So two balls and two strikes now. Men on third with two down. Full count to Bellinger, three balls, two strikes. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it.
Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And the winning run will reach. It's a leadoff walk to start the home half here in extra innings. Joe Kelly will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Mauricio Dubon will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Now the one and one pitch. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, man. So striding in, Brendan Belt as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. 3 2 pitch. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. Reined in. The second for one. Relay to first, and Belt is gone. It's a double play. So stepping in, Aramis Garcia, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Going back is Bellinger. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. A close one, 8-7 to seven is how it finishes today. The Los Angeles Dodgers posted 15 total hits in the ballgame. Kenley Jansen claims the win out of the pen his first. Joe Kelly wraps it up for the save, his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. For the victorious Dodgers, eight runs on 15 hits. No errors, they left 12 men on base. For the Giants, seven runs, eight hits. Two errors, they left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and 33 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon, 41,915. The Giants thank you for attending today's game at Oracle Park and remind you to please drive home safely.